life. And just on a, a couple of points of information, just to be clear, you are currently on an ongoing basis, you're paying for his legal advice and support. Mm -hmm. Has there ever been or is there an injunction or any sort of NDA preventing media coverage of your relationship with him? No. Why is all this coming out now, Philip? What was the catalyst? What changed? It got too big. The lie got too big for both of us. It just got enormous. It was growing and growing and growing. And it, it crossed over from, the, from online to uh, mainstream news. ITV's position is that they, and they've only put out one statement about all this, um, they say they investigated allegations of an improper relationship and they were told by both you and the young man that there was no relationship. In retrospect, was that investigation a sham? Because it clearly didn't get to the truth, did it? I think if you have two people who are lying, then what, what can you do? But what did that investigation amount to? I mean, was it sort of, was it just a phone call to you and a phone call to the young man? Was it sort of a proper sort of independent? I think he was sort of... asked, he was asked quite a bit. I was asked a couple of times. Um, so, you know, it's, um, and it wasn't formal. Is this the tip of the iceberg? Are there more allegations and revelations to come or, or as far as you're concerned, is it's it all biggest, that? It's it all my that biggest, there? sorriest secret. When did you last speak to Holly Willoughby? Uh, I um, WhatsApped her on the day that I put the statement up and I said to her, I know you can't reply, you're probably not allowed to, but please know that I am so desperately, desperately sorry. Did she reply? 